We'll start off with the law of conservation of energy. Now the law of conservation of energy states energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. So to go over that again, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. Now what does this mean? If we take an example of an electric drill here, what we have is we have electrical energy going in. When we plug it in to the electric, electric we get electrical energy going in. Then at the other side coming out we have kinetic energy because the drill bit is spinning round. So the electrical energy going in has been converted or transformed to kinetic energy going out. So our little diagram here says electrical goes in, kinetic goes out. Now as well as the electrical energy getting converted to kinetic energy, the electrical energy is also transformed to other things. For example, sound. The drill makes a lot of sound. So some of that electrical energy is converted or transformed to sound. Now if we looked at the drill bit, the bit that spins round, that gets hot. And the motor, and that gets hot. So some of the electrical energy is converted into heat, which is wasted energy because we don't really want that. So from our diagram underneath, electrical gets transformed to kinetic, which is what we need, it's useful. It gets also transformed to heat, which is wasted, and sound, which is wasted. Now a measure of how well a device converts the energy going in into useful energy going out is called the efficiency and it's calculated using this formula here which is efficiency is the amount of useful energy so in our case of our drill that was the kinetic energy of the drill bit spinning around divided by the total amount of energy supplied to the device so this is the amount of electricity in the case of our drill that we're giving to the device and that's the efficiency. So if we work through an example of a thousand joules being supplied to the device. So if we imagine a thousand joules being supplied to the device. And of that a thousand, a five hundred is useful energy. So of the thousand joules being supplied, five hundred joules is the useful energy. And then we can work out the efficiency by the top part, the amount of useful energy, which in this case, it's the 500 joules. That's the useful energy. So we can put that on the top part of our equation, equation there. This is it, the amount of useful energy. Now we need the total energy supplied to the device, which in this case is 1,000 joules. So we'll need to divide our 500 by 1,000. And if we did that on a calculator, we would find that it was 0 0.5 would be the efficiency. Now, the greater the efficiency, the less waste there is. Now, in the above case, you've got 0 0.5. That means half of the energy is being transformed into useful energy and half of it is being wasted. The way you can show how efficient the device is, is by drawing something called a Sankey diagram. Now this is a Sankey diagram for an iPod when you're watching a video on an iPod. Now the electrical energy comes in and that comes from the battery that you've charged up on your iPod. And that's the energy input, so that's energy input is electrical energy and it's represented by this, these squares here, going right from the top to the bottom. So that's the amount of energy going in, the electrical energy going in. Now in terms of the useful energy coming out when you're watching 
an iPod movie, you're interested in the light energy and the sound energy together. So the light energy is to actually light up the screen so you can see something and the sound so you can listen to it. So those two combined is the useful energy. Now the energy that's wasted on an iPod is the heat. You don't buy an iPod to warm yourself up. So that energy that it generates is the heat. It's the wasted energy and that's represented by that arrow going right the way across there. So in terms of putting some figures on this and working out well, how much has been wasted and how much hasn't. Well if we said each square would be equal to 10 joules and I've just made that up. So one square is equal to 10 joules. We can work out how much energy, electrical energy has gone in by counting the square 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 10 will give, give us 130 joules of energy, electrical energy going in. And we can work out how much of that 130 is being transformed to light. So we've only got one square wide for our arrow of light energy. So that's 1 times 10 is 10 joules. Useful energy of sound, where there's three squares. That arrow is three squares wide, so that will be 30 joules. So that's 3 times 10 is 30 joules. So together, our useful amount of energy that's been used as light and sound is 40 joules. In terms of the heat, let's count those. And we have got... nine squares nine times ten is ninety joules of heat is lost is well I should say wasted as heat now that energy is wasted because we don't buy an iPod to warm ourselves up we do it so we can listen and watch movies so that heat that it generates is wasted so of that 130 joules going in as electrical 90 joules is wasted as heat and 40 joules is used as light energy and sound energy and that's the useful stuff.